Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Poland and Russia and Ukraine and super advanced 4D chess and some concepts that are being presented, some ideas that are being thrown out that might be getting a little bit more credibility than they should. And we're just going to kind of run through them. And I'm going to present an alternate motive for one of the theories. Because remember, assessments, this type of thing, it's the holy grail is intent. Why something is happening. Because that lets you be a little bit more accurate in determining what might happen. Okay, so to start off with, both of these ideas that are being presented, they rely on the belief that the whole dust up with Wagner, that wasn't real. That was a show that was 4D chess by Putin to reposition Wagner in Belarus. Okay. Um, we'll come back to that part. But one of the theories is saying that now that they're in Belarus, well, they're going to go after Poland. No, they're not. Just flatly, no. That, that's not real. Um, first, it's worth remembering that Wagner troops are there. The equipment that they would need to mount an offensive, yeah, they gave that to the Ministry of Defense. They, they don't have any equipment. It's all civilian vehicles there at their little camp. Um, but, sure, I mean, I can't prove that uh, Belarus isn't going to give them the equipment to get mechanized, you know, super fast, secret, four, five, six D chest, whatever. Um, so let's say that they do. Yeah, that's still, no, no way. Um, Belarus, Russia, they don't want any of Poland. That, that's not real. Um, and I'm talking about Poland on its own at the moment. A country that has spent a lot of time and a lot of money updating their equipment and their doctrine. The, prior to Russia going into Ukraine, I was like, you know, I know the media is saying that the Ukrainians are just going to roll over and this will be over real quick, but I, I don't know. I kind of think that Ukraine might put up a fight. I know Poland will. They don't want any of that. And as a reminder, Poland is part of NATO. And Poland is, is a country that its military is ready. There, there is a reason for that image from the beginning of the war. It was a, a pit bull with a chain on it. And the chain had like the NATO flag on it. And the pit bull had the Polish flag on it. There's a reason that image exists. That's, that's just not realistic. Um, and we have talked about that before. The last time Putin and his proxies floated this type of propaganda. It's, it's just not real. It was four or five months ago. Um, now, the other idea is, you know, the whole thing with Wagner was fake. 4D chess get them to Belarus, and then they're going to send them into Ukraine from there and open up a second front. Okay, you still have the problem of them not having any equipment. They can't mount an offensive right now. But I'm willing to say this one's a little bit more plausible. Belarus gives them equipment, you know, Gives them some equipment, gets them started. There's more coming. Supply lines are secure. It's going to be great. Y'all will be able to go down there and do your stuff. That's more plausible. And I'll even say that it's 4D chess. Just not the type you're thinking. I want you to imagine being the Wagner troops 
getting that, that equipment, moving south, moving into Ukraine, and then not being resupplied, isolated from everybody else. If you were Putin, somebody who is absolutely terrified of a coup, I know all of these theories rely on the idea that that wasn't real. The thing is, it was real. So real, in fact, that currently Putin is restructuring everything related to his own security. The Ministry of the Interior, they lost their special forces, got transferred to the National Guard. The National Guard is run by Putin's uh, longtime former bodyguard, very loyal to him. The National Guard now has tanks, artillery, and planes to protect Putin. Equipment that could probably well be well used on the front lines. But it's back there protecting him from his own people. Okay. So, if you were that scared, if you were that terrified, so much so that you're restructuring the military organizations, you are pulling troops to protect you while you're sending pensioners and recalling them and sending them into Ukraine. Even though you said you forgave those people in Wagner, maybe you didn't. Maybe sending them into northern Ukraine to just be left isolated, maybe that's just a way to get rid of them with really good optics. He can come out and hang a reef and stand in the rain, talk about how brave they were, how they made a mistake, but they wanted to make up for it, so they went and fought for Mother Russia again. That seems way more likely. I mean, to be clear, I don't really... I don't have a high degree of confidence in that, but it it seems way more likely that it's all a scheme to get rid of Wagner. Not that they're his buddies. Not that this whole thing was planned. Putin is just a man. He's not invincible. He launched an elective war based on a lie. His people know it. He's lost tens of thousands at minimum. And it's not going well. That uh, he isn't a being of mythical proportions. He's just a man. He is vindictive, though. If I was one of those people working for Wagner... There is no way I would go into Ukraine because I would have serious doubts that I was ever expected to leave again. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.